Hey everybody, Efren here of Your Real Pastors, and I am here and I'm excited, very, very excited to be bringing to you today a review of Sonic 2. I was able to go see this uh, last night, or be watching this over the weekend, Thursday night, uh, with my three kids. This is something that they've been very excited for, and honestly, I was very excited for this movie. Uh, because the first one I thought was a lot of fun and a great surprise. Uh, didn't get, didn't expect to get what we got. And uh, so this one, seeing the trailer, seeing that Tails was going to be in it, which was teased at the last one, and being able to see that Knuckles was going to be in it, and of course Jim Carrey back as Robotnik. Uh, this was had a lot of hype for me. I was ready for this a lot, uh, a lot, and that my kids were ready. And we were able to finally go see Sonic 2. Now, Gary, he is not here with me today. He is going to be taking his children to see at some point this weekend, and we are planning to do a spoiler review uh, with him sometime next week of Sonic 2. And so if you have not seen this uh, movie th this weekend, uh, plan to do so and then come back and talk with us uh, as we talk about spoilers uh, galore, because today will be a non-spoiler review. I will not be spoiling anything at all, so... Things might be a little bit tighter because there's a lot that happened in this movie that we'll get to here in a second that is not uh, that I can't talk about. But on that one, when Gary's back, once he's seen it with his kids, we'll have a spoiler review. So get ready for that. So yeah, so here we go. Diving right into it. Sonic 2. Uh, Hedgehog. It's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sorry. Get ahead of myself. I'm a little excited to talk about this movie, as maybe you can tell. But I'm excited about this because uh, this movie, as you see here, even just on the posters, uh, first of all, the characters, you know, they look great and stuff. They're bringing in Knuckles, like we said. They're uh, continuing the story that, that we got from the first Sonic. And this is one that I thought they've done a great job with, with marketing and uh, with just the way everything looks. And I thought this is great. And this is just a movie that if you go into it as a Sonic fan... I think it's a lot of fun. They add a lot of great things in it. If you go into it, not a Sonic fan, maybe you just like the first movie. Maybe you're just taking your kids, um, whatever that may be. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this movie. I mean, this this movie was well put together. It was it was done well, and I'm very excited to continue to talk about uh, this this movie here. And and I want to uh, bring up here uh, as we as we like to do here with our reviews is to just talk about the good, the bad, the dad, and just you know dig into what. Uh, this movie has for you so uh, first of all Sonic 2 the good and uh, listen there's a lot of things good about this this movie and I, I just had a whole again a whole lot of fun with it very excited um, first off I just want to say that these characters they look great um, if you've seen Sonic from the first one they improved on him he looks a lot cooler you see him being able to use his powers um, a lot more, uh, and I just want to pull up here for you guys uh, real quick. Just a shot of Sonic. I mean, look at that. I mean, just he just looks so good. And if you grow up a Sonic fan, being able to see Sonic like myself, you grew up playing with it, playing with him on the Sega Genesis and growing through uh, the different iterations, like even when I was able to play him on the Sega Dreamcast, on the Game Gear, you know, different versions of him. And then a little bit once Sega didn't make consoles anymore, just being able to have the storyline and, and see uh, what was going on with him. Being able to see him like this, again, is still awesome to me. And I'm still just loving the fact that you know the studios they they heard our the outcry of fans and they and they said you know the original iteration they didn't like it we're going to make him look like he's supposed to look like from the cartoons and like from the games and they did a great job and he looks great and then you see him there like with the lightning being able to you know use up his power and stuff man it's just awesome uh, being able to see him but of course he is not the only one he is not the only uh character in this i mean you also see uh tails as well like him and tails hanging out which i thought was a good um, a picture as well uh, and I'll pull this up right here with uh, with him and Tails I mean the Tails looks good and this is one that as you start like adding characters sometimes you know the first movie had just Sonic and you're kind of like alright that's cool maybe adding more characters one thing that was like will this actually work like will it still look right I mean they got the look right he looks like Tails but will it look right would it actually fit within this world and, uh, and I'm just telling you like it did uh, I thought it was great. I mean, the look of this movie a lot was awesome. And one thing that was really cool is that instead of, especially the scenes when it's only Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, which there are a lot of them where it's just them, um, not so much human interaction with certain scenes. And we'll get to the human stuff in a second. But with certain scenes, it's not a lot. It was cool because it looks like they didn't really use a whole lot of CGI and stuff. It looks like they actually 
a film like on location and then they put the characters in later obviously with effects and it looked great i thought it looked pretty good there were some spots that looked a little like okay you can tell but for the most part it looked really good and a lot of the set pieces and stuff that they did was really cool because a lot of it again if you're a fan of the games you'll notice that they are levels from the different versions of the game and so a lot of that was really really cool and really fun and uh you know one one more uh, character obviously i don't, haven't pulled up yet is knuckles man and knuckles looks great as well and he um oh man the picture's not as big as i thought but there he is i mean he just he just looks awesome when you see him on the screen moving interacting with sonic and tails and Eggman, like it is just great um and so i had a lot of fun and then i'm just telling you right now idris elba voicing knuckles uh if you loved it in the trailer you're gonna love it in this movie it was great um, he, he did a great job, really brought uh, Knuckles to life. And that's something that when you do voice acting that I always appreciate with voice actors, the same with Sonic, the same with Tails, uh, is the fact that, that you have to try to, with your voice, bring these characters to life. Like I understand, I know there's a little bit of debate about like, is it real acting? Is it not? Because the animators can make the eye movement and everything to help you connect. But if the voice doesn't match, then it doesn't work. And that's the thing with me, it's like, I've heard some bad voice acting where you just hear the voice, the, the people talking to the voice and you can tell they're like phoning it in or you can tell that they just really don't want to be there or it's just a paycheck. It's like you can tell in their voice. And with this, it wasn't that case. Idris Elba obviously had a lot of fun playing Knuckles. Uh, ben uh, Swartz, I guess is his name. Uh, you know, he did a great job as Sonic. And then I uh, forget the lady's name who voiced Tails. She uh, is the one who voiced Tails in some video games and voiced Tails in the cartoon series. So they brought her back to voice Tails. So it was awesome having that. And, and just being able to have them make these characters, man. It was just really, really well done. Uh, I had a, a fun time with that. And then, of course, another good thing, which, which needs to be done well, because if not... Uh, it can go horribly is uh, the return of Jim Carrey as Robotnik and, and he comes back in man in full form and this is again like the first one this is 1990s Jim Carrey this is the mask Ace Ventura Dumb and Dumber like this is the Jim Carrey that people our age like we grew up loving right like being able to see him just let loose and have a whole lot of fun and he does with this like he knows what movie he's in he knows he's in a sonic movie he knows he's playing robotnik he knows the stuff that's happening it's just crazy fun it's, it is it's cartoon it's a cartoon ish movie and that's he knows he's in that and he plays up to it like he did so well in the mask and other movies that he's come out in the past and he does a great job again as robotnik and, and being self-aware, there's a lot of self-aware moments uh, with him in this. I mean, Sonic and them too. I mean, this movie is very self-aware. And I love that because they use it for good comedy. It makes for it makes for a lot of funny moments. I found myself laughing quite a bit throughout this movie. And I thought it was just great and it was phenomenal. And so they did a great job. And then also returning uh, uh, the two humans. Oh, my goodness, I am now drawing a blank. So uh, probably better off just to bring their you know, bring their pictures up here, but I feel terrible because it's like, I, I know their names, um, but I, I forget who they are. But anyways, but these two, Martson, there we go, Martson, and her name, she has a different name, but I forgot. Uh, but they come back and they're playing the, you know, the parents or the, the, you know, the parental figures, but essentially the adoptive parents of Sonic and just trying to really guide him because he's still very much a kid and trying to help him navigate life and and how Sonic, when you see in the trailer, he wants to be a hero, how to handle that. And so you have this whole dynamic that's really, really cool. And they and they do a good job. They're back. They're solid. Uh, again, they know what movie they're in. They're having fun with it. And that's something that I really appreciate out of this movie is that everyone knows they are in a Sonic movie and they're having fun. And, you know, what you can tell when actors and actresses are in movies and they're just not having fun with it because they're like, this is beneath me or this is too cartoony or whatever. No, no one in this movie felt that way to me. They felt like they were in it. They were having fun. They were having a blast. I think they probably had a blast filming this on set. And it really showed. And, and they put forth in it. They did, you know, put quality work into this. And I thought they did a great job. And I thought it was a whole lot of fun. Um, another good thing. That, that I really enjoyed and I just appreciated is a lot of times when you get these adaptations, this happens a lot, especially with video game movies. Um, you'll get this with TV shows and things made in the movies. But it seems like sometimes the studios, maybe the directors or the writers or whoever, don't really appreciate the source material or don't appreciate uh, you know the, what the fan base, so they don't appreciate what's coming, uh, what, what's been set before them. And so what, that way for us as fans, we don't know what to expect 
you know, what's coming to us, like with Sonic 2. And they, they did a great job with all that. Um, this is something that I truly feel that whether it was a studio, the writers, the directors, or maybe the actors themselves, I'm not sure. At least one person who has some pull, at least one of them loves Sonic, loves the Sonic video games, loves the Sonic lore, and loves the fans. You know, maybe it's a mixture of people, but either way you can tell. To me, this felt like just another love letter to fans and to people who love the Sonic lore and the story and they grew up on the video games. You know, they put a lot of stuff in there that was was to us and it was like what I appreciated was like is like the stuff that were references, they referenced stuff like in in life in general, like real life, like there's a Vin Diesel joke, right? Like there's a joke in there uh, referencing uh, Parks and Rec, which was pretty cool. So they had those kind of like references, but when it comes to actual like Sonic things, it's more than just reference. It was integrated into the story. Like there's this, like when they're in the temple scene, just watch because the temple scene, like a lot of the stuff is straight out of the video games. There's, there's two moments specifically that happens with the interaction with him and Knuckles. Well, actually more than, two things a couple things that if you play the games you're gonna see it and like if you're like me i i visit was like yes that's awesome like because sometimes it's some things that you would think you know they would never integrate that into a movie uh because it's just silly but they found a way to integrate those to where it made sense and it was just a lot of fun so for someone like me who grew up on this right like okay let me back up the when they made this movie they knew who their target audience was they knew the target target audience was me was our generation who grew up playing this in Sega Genesis and beyond. And it's also kids who, maybe our kids or just newer kids who have played the newer Sonic games, maybe went back and watched the old cartoons like my kids have. Um, you know, They knew their two target audience and how to reach them, and they integrated things for multiple generations of Sonic to be able to put it in there. And this is why I say this is a true love letter because they did such a great job. And this is what excites me. Like I was very excited that... They took it seriously enough to say, we're going to have fun with this, but we're going to stay true to these characters. We're going to build the lore of Sonic through these movies, and and we're going to respect the lore. We're going to respect the fans. This is something that we haven't gotten in a while, and so I'm very, very excited about that. And and seriously, I came out of this movie grinning in ear to ear. My children came out of it grinning in ear to ear. They were very happy. They laughed throughout the whole movie. My kids absolutely loved this movie and they say can we go back and watch it the two questions when can we go back to watch it is with my kids the second question was you're going to buy this movie right poppy because we need it yes absolutely children we are buying it so that kind of tells you where my rating is going to be but it was just great it was a whole lot of fun and i just thought they did great things with it i can't say much more without spoiling it but listen as a sonic fan and especially if you like the first as a sonic fan in general you will love this movie if you not a Sonic fan from the games and stuff, but you like the first movie, you will like this movie. Um, so I thought that was a great job. And then even if you have no Sonic history except for the first movie, and like that's all you have, I think, or maybe you haven't even watched the first movie, maybe you're just going with some friends to watch this one, you'll still enjoy this movie. It was still very well done. And so there's just so much going good for this. Uh, but maybe try to move on into a little bit, because I could go more and more about the excitement is the bad. So... A couple of things like on the bad end is one, it was probably a little bit too long. Um, and the reason why I would say it's probably a little bit too long, which is the second part of the bad for me, is that the human stuff, I could have taken it or leaving it. Like there were certain elements with Martin and his wife who, you know, they're being the, the parental units for Sonic, that those elements needed to be there. Some of those things needed to happen. And then they get sent off on this like, whole little side story that happens and, it, and it's like not really connected until it is and again not trying to spoil anything but when you see it you'll probably understand what i'm saying because it was like they kind of sent them off they literally like sent them off and they're doing their own thing they had this side thing going on that they just need to deal with a family thing and then but it's almost like that needed to happen because because he i will say this he needed one of the teleportation rings right he needed one of those and uh and that was going to be needed to aid sonic later on and like that's pretty much all i'll say but like so it just really felt like that whole thing wasn't needed until it was it was pretty much a MacGuffin, and so that made them so that stuff kind of made the movie a little bit longer i mean there's a little twist and things that happen so it's just like again which is funny in a sonic movie there's some twists but they needed that to happen because uh just to help move the movie it really was a MacGuffin thing so they probably could have shortened some of that stuff up 
maybe made this an hour and a half to maybe an hour and 45. Uh, I would say maybe an hour and 45 would have felt just right. And um, so I felt like that was a little much like they could have done a little bit better. That way it could have been a little bit tighter of a movie and would have felt a little bit more fun because that stuff definitely did slow things down. But um, but other than that, there's not a whole lot going on like as far as bad. I, I, I can't speak to much more bad than than those two things because other than that like i said i had a whole lot of fun with this movie so moving on from that is the dad and you already heard me my kids love this movie um it was i, I love the message of the movie of just importance of family and the fact that yeah, even though um sonic if you've seen the first movie you know so whatever it's been out for a while uh, you know he lost his family he lost everything and then he had this new set of parents who essentially adopted him in and so just just that that notion of like you can build family even though it's not blood, I thought was great. But also just talking about the importance of family and and being there for each other and uh, being able to work together through any issues that you have. Uh, these are some great themes and and messaging that they had throughout the movie that I thought was phenomenal. And I and I'm glad that my kids were able to see that integrated into a movie that they loved. And so I thought that was really good. Um, there are a few like curse words like like the use uh, just. Like nothing bad. It's pretty much just this, you know, the use of hell. Uh, pretty much, I think, if I, if I remember correctly, I think that's all it really was. Um, everything else, like they hint, like you son of a, and they stop or whatever. Like it's hints, but it's nothing really said. Um, so my children, you know, they are ten, eight, and six. My ten-year-old noticed them, but you know, she's old enough. She's heard them. She's like, yeah, I wish they didn't have them, but whatever. Um, you know, my eight and six-year-old probably didn't even notice that they were there because it was used in. Um, high energy, high action sequences to where it could have been missed very easily. Um, so for younger kids, you know, probably not a big deal. And I think they had a lot of fun um, with that. Didn't notice any of those things. And, and then there's some things that happen in here with the Robotniks um, servants, essentially. And uh, where, where, listen, in a different world, you take that as it was like classic uh, cartoonish type of stuff where they're just trying to show you how obsessed he is. Uh, with Robotnik and how over the top he is with his allegiance and loyalty towards Robotnik, and uh, and honestly, it makes for a couple good laughs. Just being honest, but uh, but don't be surprised if you hear people talking about um, them like him and Robotnik having some kind of relationship, which is like. Let, I, let me tell you right now, that's not what they're trying to hint at at the movie. That is not what they're doing at all. It's just they're really just being cartoony. Like, it, like and I mean that, like, think like Looney Tunes. Um, think Just think stuff like that. Like, back in the day, like, Animaniacs and things. Like, they did this kind of stuff. And you'll know what I'm talking about. And it was just being silly to show how obsessed someone is about someone else. That's all it is. It has nothing. It's nothing more than that. Um, but just, you know, as a dad perspective, just so you know, that's that's for you guys to you know, think about on your own with your own children. Um, so, but that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, this movie had a whole, there was a whole lot of fun. Um, this movie, man, when it comes to Sonic 2, I, I just completely adore this movie. And again, if you're a Sonic fan, you will appreciate everything that they did. Um, I mean, and like, and here, and here's this too. Let me show you this. I forgot to pull this up, but I want you guys to see it. This shows you how much love to the Sonic fan base that they have. I mean, look at that. There is a Sonic 2 original like uh, case case art, and then look at the poster that they made for the movie. On, so on the on the left there, on the right being the original. I mean, this is this is what you're in for, man. This is what you're in for. These people wanted to say we love Sonic, we love this the lore, we love the story, we love the franchise, and we love the fans. Man, they give you everything you could ever want, and so I absolutely love uh, this movie. So of course you know, saying okay, he's going to give it a good rating, and let me tell you right now. As, as a fan of Sonic, as a fan of movies, of what they did, I give Sonic 2 a 4 out of 5 Hail Marys. Uh, this is a great movie. It's a fun movie. It's a great family movie. And take the kids to it. It's Like I said, it's safe. It's a great safe movie, which can't be said about a lot of family movies nowadays. And it is just a great fun time at the theater with the family. Take them 4 out of 5. Uh, absolutely love this movie. Go see it. Definitely worth your time in the theater. If you can get to an IMAX, there are some set pieces that look great on IMAX. Maybe a Dolby Theater if you can get to one. Do it. Uh, this movie was a whole lot of fun and it was great. So yeah, so those are our, that is our review for Sonic 2. Four out of five Hail Marys for Sonic 2. <clears throat> we will have a spoiler review with Gary sometime next week so we can dig into things a little bit more. Hopefully you would have seen it. But if you have already seen it, you want to interact with us, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of Sonic 2. 
We will catch you guys next time. See you, everybody.